prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope. Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower?! Alright. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! <laughs> huh? That was unfortunate. Wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this! Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals! Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? <laughs> but the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! <laughs> How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. And you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome. What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? <laughs> My secret ingredient! Elle, get some new art! Yikes! No thank you. No! Another rejection! <laughs> ah! Stranger! Help! Attack! Calm down. What's up? No one wants to buy my artwork. <laughs> Grandpa, what are you even doing in that trash can? What do you plan to do with that garbage? You still don't trust me? Well, okay then. You'll have to watch. I'm gonna set this lid down on paper. And now to start spray painting the paper. I just want to coat the whole thing. Don't be afraid to cover the lid. And now to add some white paint down here in the corner. Want to just fill this whole space. And then it's plastic bag time. I'll dab the white with this bag. <laughs> It'll pull the paint up a bit. There we go. And now I'll speckle it with some more white paint. Time to take the lid off. There we go. It's done. Ta-da! Wow, Grandpa, it's incredibly beautiful! I can't believe how easy it was for you to make this! Here, you can have this. I want that painting! Take all my money! Picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. 
Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything! As long as it's circular, of course! <laughs> you think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? A pie! My little artist! Okay, this spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. <laughs> the heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? <laughs> hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever, fine. I'll be over here then. <laughs> what can I paint? <laughs> Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? Yep, I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand. Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. <sighs> I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? <laughs> Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh. All done, huh? <laughs> oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. Hey, I think this piece is finished. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think this might be a masterpiece. I'll just set it over here on the easel. Wow, I love it! <laughs> Ooh, bubbles! I think I deserve a bit of a reward! Yes! Look how many there are! I love bubbles! Hey! I'm back. Oops! I knocked that painting off. Oh. It was my masterpiece! The best I've ever done! Wait a second, Bubbles? This gives me a great idea. I've got a plastic bottle. I'm gonna cut off the top. And now I'll stretch a little net over the opening. Next up, I'll pour soap into this glass tray. That should be enough. Now to dip the net end into the soap. Now the soap has stuck to the nut. Time to add some paint to it. I'll drip some blue. Some red, too. And then yellow, of course. Primary colors, check. <laughs> and now it's time to start blowing some bubbles. I'll just make sure I'm close to the canvas. <laughs> and now I'll pop some of these bigger ones. There we go. I think the work is done. Hey, what do you think about this? Whoa! How did you do that? I just took inspiration from your bubbles. I made it for you. Thank you so much, Grandpa! 
I love it. Bubbles are truly great. <laughs> hmm, which pencil should I use? Blue or green? Look at her. <laughs> I love you. Mwah, mwah. I'll see you later in my dreams. Whoa! Damn, cool. Who spins the wheel? I win. Ugh, I was convinced I would win. Come on. No hands? Again? Oh well, I suppose I can do it. Here I go. Maybe I can help. There. <laughs> hey, you're doing it wrong. But how? Oh well, I'll give it a go. Close your eyes. Why are you acting weird? Fine. Luckily I have this blindfold. How do I look? Perfect. <laughs> this is harder than it seems. You're amazing. I mean, you're doing amazing. I should kiss her. Wait, I can't forget this. You're kidding me. I spent $20 on this. So stupid. Although, I better be quick. Get out of here. Who needs expensive flowers when you have a pen? Just create your own. It's more romantic this way. <laughs> Just a stem and it's done. I hope she likes it. I have no idea what I've drawn. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a sale. I drew something. <laughs> For me? You're much prettier than any rose. You're embarrassing me, but it's so romantic. At my perspective, looks good. All right, I think I'm done. Better compare it to the original. <laughs> oh, this didn't turn out at all. There he is. I'll just sneak up on him. He's gonna love this. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. He must be having a rough day. Oh, look at those lights over there! That gives me a great idea! I've got this box frame, so I'll need to open it. Now I've got this little fairy light. I'll stretch them around inside the box frame. And done! Time to return the back! Wow, this is great! <laughs> Grandpa! Lights in a box? What's the point? Oh, Grandpa, come on! Let me show you! Take your picture and put it on top of the glass. Oh, I see. Wow, look at it glow! I get it! It's a tracing box! Now you can recreate that picture! Alright, time to give this another try. I can just follow all the lines that show through. Wow, this is working so well! <laughs> it's almost easy! I've just got to finish the last little details. There we go, that should do it! A masterpiece at last! And all I needed was a frame and some lights! Thank you so much for your gift! You're welcome! Okay, time for the next challenge! Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little! I need to hang out with new people! What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop. You're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel. This is so awesome! No hands? No problem. Here goes! I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad. Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. 
And it helps to make drawings easier. It's time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing. There! My own unicorn! <laughs> Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. Almost done stacking my foods! No! It's falling! Shoot! I'm so bad at this. Wait, is that paint up there? <laughs> yeah! It is paint! And an easel! She left them out. I'm gonna do some art. Is she around? I don't wanna get caught. Nope, the door's shut. Time for painting! I like this pink color. It's pretty. I'm so good at painting. The best, even. <laughs> All right, got the supplies I need. What? The heck? <laughs> Hi! Look, I'm painting. Isn't it good? Um, sure. I guess so. <laughs> what am I gonna do? He's already ruined the canvas? <laughs> yes! I think I've got a solution! <laughs> All right, I've got the canvas. A perfect A. Time for some paint. I'll use the color he used. Blue over here. I need more blue and some yellow. All the colors! Time to do some cleaning with the sponge. Just kidding. This is part of the art. I want to use the sponge to dab at all the paint colors. It's okay if I get some on the tape. Turns out doing this dabbing is pretty fun. But it's not really all that quick. Not if you want to do it well anyway. Phew! There we go. I finally covered the canvas with all the paint. Here I go. Pulling off the tape. It comes right off. Wow. It looks amazing. It turned out great. Wow! That's amazing! You're so good at painting! Do one for me! Feeling about this one? A love heart! It's so cute! Let's see who spins the wheel! I'm great at thumb wars. Yes! I won! Oh, so close! Please don't be bad. No paper. But how am I supposed to draw? Guess you'll need to figure that out. Watch this. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle. And another one. Then some lines at the top and bottom. And now for the sides of the heart. The pencil makes great guidelines for when we start to use ink. Once the basic shape is done, use an eraser to remove the guidelines around the edges. Then grab a pen and just follow the lines. It creates a great 3D effect. Now to add the color. Remember to stay inside the lines. Once that's done, add shadowing to the inside edges. A regular pencil is fine for this. Just add to anywhere you think there would be a shadow. Or where you think the light would be different. It's a different way of drawing a love heart, but it looks so impressive. <laughs> That's it. What do you think? Wow. I mean, it's okay. What can I use? I know. My hands. It's pretty basic. There must be something I can do. Got it. A tiny heart. Huh? How about this? It's a heart. No, it isn't. Sorry. Okay, now what do you think? Just give up. I know I can do this. Come on, fingers, don't let me down. I think I figured it out. I just need a red pen. Place one finger on top of the other. Then draw a love heart. Then simply use a red pen to fill it in. It's not too bad. I like it. Or should I say, I love it. But I'm not finished. Let's add a smiley face. <laughs> and you need another one for true love. <laughs> How romantic. Look! Seriously? Aw, that's so cute! Hold on! I have an idea too! Don't ruin it. It'll be great. There! They're hugging! <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry. It's so sweet. Ah, how did this yarn get tangled? Wow! Grandma, look! Ah! Oh, 
The yarn? The yarn! Of course! It's already in the paint after all. I'm gonna do this! Alright, the black paint is on the canvas. And now for some gold-painted yarn. I've draped it across the canvas, and I'll do some more over here. There we go. All around the entire piece. Next up, I'll need to tape down the unpainted yarn ends. Ready? Time to pull up the canvas! There we go! The yarn's coming right off! This is an amazing piece of artwork you've created! You're definitely grandma's best artist! It's the best painting I've made! Can I spin the wheel? No, it's my turn. Aww. Go on. Settle it with a thumb more? Let's go. This could take a while. Stop. Why don't we both spin it? Good idea! Oh. Sup. This is gonna be epic. Wait, where are we? <laughs> Maybe we should go. Wow! My first tattoo! Whoa, you're eager. Let's do this. Are you crazy? <laughs> this is gonna look sick. <laughs> it tickles. Wow! Look at that! That's some of my best work. Uh, well, that's different. I love it! Keep that away from me! Mommy, save me! Your turn, bro. No way! I'll just use this printout instead. I'll cut the butterfly out of the paper. Then I'll put it face down on my wrist. I need some aftershave to wet it. Now I'll press it against my skin. A pain-free <laughs> tattoo. It suits me, wow! Ah, uh, no. I feel so pretty! Ah, <sighs> she's so pretty. Time to see if I can impress her with my talents. I'll start with this blue. But I'll also need other colors, too. Definitely gotta fill this heart with pink, of course. There! She's gotta get the message with this painting. I wonder if she'll like it. You made that for me? Uh, get it out of here! Ouch! Nope. I don't want that reaction. Yeah, this is garbage. Wait, what? Oh no! I've got paint all over my hands! This day is not going like I thought it would. Better wash the paint off before I make a mess. Definitely gonna need some soap for this. Wait a second! Wow! Look at this! The studs are colored with the paint! Time to redeem myself! I've got my bowl of water and my dish soap. And of course, I have to add some paint, too. Time to mix this together with a popsicle stick. There we go. It's getting a little sudsy. But I need more bubbles. Time to add some air with a straw. <laughs> Wow! Look at all of these bubbles! They just keep coming! All right, so long, straw! Now to add the paper onto the bubbles! Just like that! Wow! The bubbles appeared on the paper! Hi! I made you this card. You made this for me? Wow! I love it! It's so beautiful! Oh my gosh! Wanna want me to class? It totally worked! That! Wait. What's that? Oh! It looks so cuddly! There's a tiny draft, too! This one's mine! Oh. Okay, I guess this little guy's mine. Heh, <laughs> my draft is much better. Okay, don't move. I need to draw you. So far, so good. What are you doing? I'm examining the draft! Oh, good idea. Hmm. I wonder how Justin's doing. Pretty realistic, isn't it? I'm gonna call him Jerry. It doesn't look like a giraffe. This is gonna be tricky. It's all about getting the right scale. Hang on. I have an idea. I'll place my hand like this and then draw around it. I'll add a face. And 
now it's a giraffe! Let's color it in! This brown is the perfect color. And I can color the rest yellow. Careful! I don't want to make any mistakes now. Now for the neck! That's it! I'm glad I thought of that! Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. You can have this! Thank you! What the heck is going on with her now? I really don't get her. What's she doing with those towels? Hi, yeah, we're still here, remember us? Well, okay, fine then. Here, have this flamingo. Oh, a flamingo. Okay, this should be fun. I'm gonna go with my favorite method and trace my hand. Okay, good. Now to rotate my paper. This bird is gonna need a head for sure. And then of course his big beak. Okay, eye is done. Now for the wing. And can't forget his long legs. Now for the color. Can't have a flamingo with some pink. He's gonna be so pretty when I'm done. I just know it. Just keep coloring. Just keep coloring. Just a little bit more and… done! Let me see. Gotta make sure to get the scale right. Eh, I'll just wing it. <laughs> that was a pretty good pun, if I say so myself. Okay, he looks something like this, I think. Okay, sure, that's a flamingo, I guess. Phew. That refreshing bath was just what I needed. What do you got? Ew. What is that? Some sort of weird chicken? Aw. Yeah, sorry. I have to agree with her. Yours looks very nice, though. You win the flamingo challenge. Congrats! Yes! I won one all on my own. Listen, don't feel so sad. I'll share, of course. Here. Thanks! This does help me feel better. Hey, the next round! Wait. Cover your eyes. Ooh, mysterious. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna surprise Ashley. Ugh, that's pretty gross. Ooh, and it smells awful. What's that smell? Sorry. <laughs> Wait, Justin! I know what we can do! Check this out! I'll start by drawing a tree. Then some apples. Let's add some green leaves. I better stay in the lines. It's looking good! I'll add some dark green for the leaves. It just gives it texture. And of course, the trunk has to be brown. Using vertical pen strokes makes it look like wood. Then we'll color the apples red. They look so juicy! Ta-da! It's an apple tree! It's good, but it's not a real apple. <gasps> Justin, look! Whoa! That's so cool! Mmm, that's so tasty! Try one! I think I will! Think you could draw pizza? 